Man, what a gloomy day in the Minnesota area. Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're starting this video off at a Walmart. This is pretty much the best place for YouTube content creators to create some content. In today's video, I had an idea. I wanna go to Walmart and get some bait. I don't know what type of bait Walmart has, but we're gonna go in there, pick something out, and bring it down to the river to see if I can catch some catfish. Now, the last time I went cast fishing, we had live bait um, that we caught at the river, which we might do today, but I wanna try something from Walmart and see if that has any effect on the kitty cats here. If you guys could pause the video real quick and hit the like button, that would really make me happy, so I'm gonna just sit here awkwardly for five seconds. Okay, thanks. Now that you're subscribed, let's go inside of Walmart and see what we can find. All right, we have made it to the fishing section and I kinda wanna get like two different baits. The first bait, I wanna get very conventional just in case I'm absolutely butt cheek. So I found some live worms. So up here, it looks like they have some red and green worms. I'm not really sure if they're alive or not, but these ones are in the refrigerator. I'm just gonna go with these guys right here. These are big red worms, the red rascals. I don't know, I'm gonna get two of these bad boys just for safe measures. And now that I have these, I wanna go over to the food section and see if they maybe got some type of fish or some type of cut bait that I can use for today's video. So let's head over there. All right, we have made it over to kind of like the seafood and poultry area of Walmart. And I found something that could make this video a little bit interesting. So I'm over here just looking, there's some crabs and some tilapia, like fillets and some shrimp and salmon. And I come over here, I'm like, holy crap, that's a live freaking tilapia and it's whole. I don't know if you guys can see that in the package, but look at this one. Yeah, you can see this one a lot better. Look at that. And it's only 4.85. That's actually pretty cheap. So I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna pick up this whole tilapia and see if we can catch some catfish on this. I didn't even know they sold whole tilapia, let alone, I don't think I've ever seen a tilapia in real life before, but now I have. So we're gonna take this bad boy to the river, cut it up and see which one does better, the worms or the tilapia. You guys stay tuned. Experimentation for catfish coming in hot. Eventually. Yeah, boys. Whew. Well, we just made it to the all spot here, and man, the river is super low. This is uh, not good. I'm looking at this and saying to myself, oh, I might have to rethink my life here. I don't know how this is going to go because I've never seen the river this low before, and that's going to affect the fishing, obviously. Hopefully, the holes that I hit are going to be a little bit deeper, but you know what? All you can do is try and see. So, we made it to the spot. I'm gonna get all my stuff down there and hopefully the Walmart bait can do some work. All right, so let's start setting some rods up. I think the very first rod I'm going to set up with the worm. So I got these fancy guys here. I actually picked these up last time on catfish and they're only like a couple dollars or something like that. Nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna set this up first and this is a rod holder. You put your rod in here and it makes things a lot easier. So definitely if you're gonna catfish, I would suggest getting these son of guns right here. I'm gonna put one right here, just stick it in the ground. All right, there's one. Now I'm gonna get another one. I'm gonna put it, uh, where should I put this one? I'll put it down here a little bit. All right, number two is set. All right, so here is rod number one and we got a super simple system today. I got some egg weights on top, a split shot holding these from moving up top. And then down here, all we got is just a little circle hook. This is a smaller hook, so I'm gonna put the worms on this one. And on my other setup, I have a bigger hook, which we're gonna put the tilapia on. So let's open up our Walmart worms, big red worms. Oh God, yeah. They're all hiding in there. Oh yeah, there's one. That is not a big red worm. That's tiny little worms. What the Sam hell? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to put three of them suckers on there because that's disappointing. So there's no really special way to put these on. We're just gonna dangle these worms on there, how they lie, something like that. All right, I put four worms on this hook. Something should eat that. That looks pretty delicioso. And my weights that I have on this is definitely gonna be too heavy, but we're gonna send it just cause that's what I do. This rod, I have the Guggen Squad Gold Series Muscle Rod and we're gonna see how she handles some old kitty cats. And we're just gonna 
give this a nice toss out in the middle kind of and it probably should kind of swing this way a little bit out of the main current so the main currents right here then right here we have some slack water and i'm hoping that bait just going to kind of work its way that way so we got that in the water and all we're going to do is just put this son of a gun inside of our little holder and bam we're fishing like that folks we're just going to watch the rod tip and if it starts going crazy or if it topples over that's definitely a fish but the moment you guys have been waiting for let's get the tilapia rod set up oh boy here we go big tilapia guy oh my goodness this thing looks definitely interesting i bet they smell just absolutely Whew, yep they definitely smell like a fish <laughs> but let's grab one of these suckers out and if you guys don't know that's what a tilapia looks like just like that i brought a handy dandy knife we're gonna find somewhere where we can cut this bad boy open this looks like a good shot right here let's just slice off his head oh yeah well let's throw this bad boy on and see what happens this is kind of like the upper midsection and i don't know if i was a catfish i would definitely eat that all right this rod let's see if this rod can get it done with the tilapia all right let's walk down to my rod holder and then we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna toss it just like right there that seems like a pretty good place to put it and we're gonna put this inside the rod holder and bam two rods out we're fishing folks so i got two rods evenly spread out and now we just sit here and wait hopefully the next time you guys see me i got a big old kitty cat on all right something was just nibbling the worm i swear i just saw it moving a little bit <sighs> we're just gonna hold this and see probably a tiny little fish but you know if we catch like you know like a good gold eye or moon eye use that as bait because that's freaking candy for catfish oh yeah i feel little bites little bites little bites Oh yeah, nibbles, good nibbles. Take the whole thing, man. Hmm. Well, I haven't felt any bites in a while. I'm just gonna reel in and make sure I have my worms and stuff, but of course I'm snagged now. Good time to take a thumbnail, eh? Uh-oh. This one might be KO'd, boys. Yeah, I don't know what just happened there. Yep. Oh, lost my bait. My, my hook bent out, but ah, I think it was something little that was messing with me. <laughs> Not good. 20 minutes later. We're getting bit, boys. We're getting bit. I moved this rod a little bit to the left. And we're definitely just getting... Oh, yeah, I feel little nibbles. Ah, I know you're not big, but... Just want to catch something, man. Oh, he's swimming with it. I I think, I don't know. I'm confused. Okay, I felt bites, I swear. Oh yeah, there he is. Oh, little bites. Oh, I think I got him. I think I got him. First fish of the day, oh my gosh. Absolute giant. Oh, dude. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's a little channel. I actually caught a little channel. Look at this thing. Oh, boys, we got the first fish of the day. Just a little channel cat. Target acquired. Look, he absolutely munched those Walmart worms. I moved this rod down left a little bit and I uh, immediately started getting bit. So I paid attention to this rod and boom, first little kitty cat of the day. That is awesome. Let's hope we can get your freaking grandfather, my guy, because you're a little bit too small, but I'm thinking if those fish are here, like that's the right species. Maybe there's a bigger one kind of chilling around here. So we're just gonna toss back out there. That was a brutal cast. We're tossed back out there, see if I can get something. But hey, it's been such a slow day. I will take anything we can get because it's been freaking brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh, I just threw back out there. I'm getting bit again. I'm literally getting bit again. I might have to move my, move my big catfish rod with the big bait over here because we're getting more action over here, folks. This is definitely not very big, but I think we are having more numbers over here, which is good. Oh, 
Oh, something's chomping. Little bites, little bites, little bites. Little nibbles. Oh. Oh, oh, oh bigger bit. Got him. Got him. Whatever this is, I got you. Oh, yeah, a little bigger. A little bigger this time. Oh, gosh, yeah. Another little kitty cat. Dude, we're literally micro catfishing. Look at these. I mean, there has to be a bigger size catfish here if his little brothers and sisters are biting. Or, I mean, probably a little child. Come on, just chill. Just chill for a second, my guy. Well, there we go. Another little kitty cat. We're going to get him back in the water. And I'm going to get my tilapia rod and move my stuff over here because maybe if I put a bigger bait down here, I can get a bigger one. But that is fish number two of the day. We are catching the right species, just not the right size. All right, so I just moved the tilapia rod to the left of me, and I'm going to cast my worm rod back out there. I... I just kind of have a feeling like if, if these small ones are here, there has to be a big chungus here. That would only make sense. I don't know. If I'm being dumb, all you catfishing experts, drop a comment down below and let me know. But I don't know. This is what I got to work with. It's been a tough day. I'm just going to go where the fish are. Got to stay hydrated, y'all, in this heat. Ugh. Whoa, I forgot how to drink water. You know, maybe a little fruit snack break is gonna get these catfish in. I got these welters. These things are absolutely gas. Comment down below what's your favorite fruit snack. Mine is probably the Scooby Doo fruit snacks, but they just had these in a bigger bag, so I had to send it. But look at that goodness. Oh, yeah. That tastes super good. The big cats are gonna bite now. Oh God, dude! I just I just saw my I just saw my rod do a super big bite. Oh my God! It almost took the rod out of the freaking holder, bro. I mean, it it was definitely a, a a better size bite. First good bite I've seen of the day. Oh no, I don't think he's there anymore though. Oh, bro, that was a good bite. Gosh dang it! I wish I'd been paying attention a little better. I still feel bites, still feel bites. I think he's on it. I think he's on it. I'm gonna hit him. Oh, yeah, I have him, I have him. I have a fish. Oh, 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 biggest, wait. What the Sam hell? It's a walleye. What, what, what the heck, dude? I just caught a freaking walleye down by the river. Oh my God. That's why that bite felt a little bigger. Cause it was a walleye. Dude, you know, like I said, I said in this video, you never know what you're going to catch while you're here. Boys, 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 check it out. Beautiful looking walleye, probably like a, I don't know, maybe a 14 to 15 and a half inch walleye. Definitely a good eater if I was going to eat one. And there he goes. See you later, buddy. <laughs> oh my God, that was insane. I can't believe I just got a freaking walleye right here. Well... Um, I guess we were going after catfish. We're going after walleyes now. Well, that was definitely interesting. I did not expect to catch a walleye, but I mean, when you throw a bunch of worms out like that on the bottom, I mean, in a river, I guess I should have expected a little bit more, but wow, what are the odds of that happening? That was pretty cool, folks. If I do say so myself, we're gonna get back out there. Just cast it out there, nothing too hard and just Put it in the old rod holder and walk back to my seat here. Sit down, look over at the tilapia rod, get super disappointed because nothing has eaten it yet. And yeah, wait for another bite. That is cool. So far, the worms are outperforming the tilapia. Drop another comment down below. Let me know which one do you guys think was gonna do better today. I'm kind of curious to see what you guys have to say. Oh God, oh God, oh God, we're getting bit. We're getting bit. We were just getting bit. Oh boy. Come on, daddy. Keep chomping. Keep chomping. Don't be shy. This is a buffet, man. Just all you can eat. Come on now. 
Come back, baby. Come on back. Oh yeah. I just felt a good bite there. So he's still in the area. Oh yeah. Come on. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Little nipples. Little nibbles. Yep, there he is. Come on. Dude, just nibbling. Dang, I might have missed my opportunity, man. Well, we're going to reel and just see if I have my bait still. I have no clue. Oh, the wind is freaking brutal right now. Gosh. I bet he ate the whole thing. Yeah, he pretty much ate me clean, man. You guys saw that wob I had of worms on there. Now, <laughs> there's literally nothing. Maybe I should have tried to set a hook, but uh, that's my bad. Eventually. Hey, buddy. What you doing? Matt. What's going on? Where are the catfish at, bro? They ain't over here. Well, I am trying to catch some catfish still. I think I'm going to wrap it up though. I've been sitting out here. Haven't had like any luck whatsoever since I caught that walleye. Maybe a little nibbles here and there, but nothing too crazy. This deer came walking right by me. It's a little doe. It's probably, uh, I want to say 50 yards away or so. I'm on the phone with Broken Wing Luke from uh, BW Films Outdoors. That guy is a freaking beauty. Luke, say hi. What up? Yeah, so, hey, if you were here, would you slock this? Um, it's it's literally four going. It's literally 40 yards away from me, bro. I don't know, man. I mean, I'd try to, but I might get the shakes. Nah, dude. Oh, like Luke Bryan? Is he down? Is he down? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, all right. Well, maybe, maybe next time I'll bring you catfishing and you can catch no catfish but shoot a deer. Fishing's been absolutely a cheek, so I think I'm gonna get going here pretty soon, but we came out here, gave it a try. It is what it is, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. I just thought I'd bring the camera along to show you what happened today in my life. It's the reality, man. So I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Just look at that ugly guy right there, ew. Well guys, it is later in the evening and I'm editing the video right now, just kind of hanging out and forgot that I said I was gonna do the outro here. So that's what I'm doing right now. I got home and I got a, well, I got a pretty cool package. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show you what's in the package yet, but uh, I'm gonna show you kind of like a little sneak peek if you guys promise not to tell Bonzo. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, there we go. That That's all you guys get to see. Um, yeah, big, big announcement coming soon. Just not quite yet, but hopefully you guys enjoy today's video. I know the fishing wasn't the best, but like I said in the video, sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. Today was one of those days that it just wasn't happening, but I am going to say the water was so low and I think that really ruined the fishing there. So I'm going to have to figure out a couple other catfishing spots. If I want to do this again, I got no bites on the tilapia. But I, like I said, I think if there was more water and more catfish and bigger ones, I think it could potentially happen. So I'm going to have to rewind this video and do it all over again because I think it'd be cool to catch one on a cut bait of that size. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We'll catch you on the next one.